the world's only carbon negative country, the world's last Buddhist kingdom, a place where the Himalayas are literally like a fortress, and the fortresses are literally like a fairy tale, isolating this place from the chaos of a globalized world. Bhutan is like jumping back in time hundreds of years, and what an insane feeling that is. What I love about this adventure is the combination of trekking and culture. I mean, what we call treks, the locals call pilgrimages. Every walk we do is dotted with living, breathing, and vibrant temples central to local culture. I don't even know how to describe this place. It just isn't made for tourists. We're like observers watching a culture live as they've always lived. And it's so weird for us because we're used to a globalized culture something, somewhere, that we can recognize. And all of this against the backdrop of the high, remote Himalayas. And when you add Nepal into the mix, it's like you see the duality of life just playing out in front of you. The order of Bhutan versus the chaos of Nepal. Both are just incredible. In Nepal, we do a yoga retreat for our last two days together before we part ways. This one's a soft adventure, so we go back to a very comfortable hotel every night the treks are super doable. I mean, if you can walk, you can do this. All the captures you see in this video were taken by us on previous trips, and we're gonna be taking the same of you. You can't go all the way to Bhutan and only have selfies to show for it. Oh, and if it's the first time you're in busy Central Asia, don't worry about it. We've got you covered from the moment you land in Kathmandu Airport until we drop you off. Just leave that on us.